I am not going to give up asking questions about a coup in our democracy. So the big political news this week, other than uh, uh, Kamala Harris's interview with Brett Baer, was the famous Al Smith dinner up in New York. And it's a dinner, for, I think it's a dinner for Catholic Charities. Is it Catholic Charities specifically or just the Archdiocese? I don't, anyway, a Catholic related organizations. So it's a major political event nationally, especially in a presidential year, because the presidents, the presidential candidates normally show up. Uh, and Kamala Harris, whose campaign is centering around uh, killing uh, legally the unborn children of, uh, excuse me, legally killing unborn children throughout the entire nine months of pregnancy, didn't show up. And you may recall her campaign surrogate last week uh, had to, quote, apologize for mocking Catholicism and Christians uh, with this vulgar representation of Holy Communion. So she didn't show up, uh, but one of the issues that's been percolating, and I think it's interesting, and I've been highlighting it virtually alone, other folks reference it, but I think it substantially needs to be pursued. And I've been pushing, pushing, pushing on it. And you know, I've been pushing uh, this online, and Judicial Watch has as well. We're investigating it. We have litigation concerning it now which is the coup, and, and this is the video I've been pushing, asking questions about the coup. I'm gonna keep on t asking questions about it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep on asking questions about it. Just like I'm gonna keep on asking questions about the coup. 15 million votes erased, no primaries for Kamala. She just gets the nomination, we're not allowed to ask how it happened. Is that the way democracy is supposed to work? <laughs> yeah. What's the answer? And the big media doesn't want to answer the question, or even ask it, I should say. And, and who's it left to? A comedian. The famous comedian Jim Gaffigan was the um, MC comedian host of the Al Smith dinner this week. And he had jokes skewering both sides. And this really was more of an observation that was truthful rather than a joke. Let's play that. The Democrats have been telling us Trump, Trump's re-election is a threat to democracy. In fact, they were so concerned of this threat, they staged a coup, <laughs> ousted their democratically elected incumbent, and installed Kamala Harris. In other words, all her dreams have come true. Really? It really makes you consider the power of prayer, right, Cardinal? <laughs> Sometimes prayers take three and a half years and a George Clooney op-ed. So isn't it disgraceful that the comedian tells more truth about one of the most significant political developments in modern American history, which is the removal of Joe Biden from the campaign for the presidency? And she was asked indirectly about this issue. I encouraged Brett Baer online to ask the question directly about the coup, but instead he chose to ask, um, yeah, let's go to this later. Uh, she, uh, Kamala was asked about Joe Biden's cognitive decline. Let me ask you this. And, you and told many interviewers that Joe Biden was on his game, that ran around circles on his staff. When did you first notice that President Biden's mental faculties appeared diminished? Joe Biden, I have watched in, from the Oval Office to the Situation Room, and he has the judgment and the experiment and experienced to do exactly what he has done in making very important decisions on behalf of the American people. There Joe were Biden, no concerns Brett, raised. Brett, Joe Biden is not on the ballot. I understand. And but, Donald Trump, Donald Trump but is. But you talked about. Well, there you have it. She refused to answer the question. And go, let's go back to that tweet now. The coup seemed to be foundering a bit tonight. In an interview with Brett Baer, Harris refused to discuss what and when she knew about Biden's obvious and dangerous cognitive decline, and 
don't you agree that she should be asked to answer these questions under oath, assuming Congress ever gets back in town? I say that knowing that Congress probably won't come back in town, but I'm, I'm still going to say what Congress should do. I'm not going to give up, as I say. I am not going to give up asking questions about a coup in our democracy. She refused directly to answer the question about his cognitive decline. And how is it tied to the coup? Well, the, the supposed reason that the, he needed to be removed was that people were not confident in his ability to cognitively operate even during the campaign. So she can try to run from it, but that's the reality. She wouldn't be there but for the perception in the least of his cognitive decline. But as I said, the coup seems to be foundering. I, it looks like to me, and this is a political analysis, and I don't know how the election is going to turn out. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you how you should vote. But I do see the way politicians behave. And it looks like Kamala Harris is behaving as if she's losing. What, especially when you review the Brett Baer debate. And, uh, you know, and the coup didn't work in that regard, right? Because she seems to be losing. Now, now, she could win in the end. I don't know. But... As more details about, I guess, the coup plotters emerge or confirmation, I guess the more questions I have. Uh, so uh, Robert Kennedy's widow, Ethel Kennedy, passed away recently. Uh, so Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s mother. You know, a very, you know, you know a historically significant person. So her funeral was the other, way, other day, I think, in St. Matthew's Cathedral here in Washington, D.C. I think she lived in the area. I think she lived in McLean. Um, so President Clinton and President Obama and President Biden attended the funeral of Mrs. Kennedy. And there's this video, and let's put that video up. We'll just keep on replaying it. of Obama and Joe talking. And so, as you see from the video, the New York Post ho uh, hosted uh, or hired a lip reader to kind of read what <laughs> they were talking about. I've seen some funny videos where they kind of splice into <laughs> bad lip reading, is that what the videos are kind of called? So, some of them pretty, um, not appropriate, but some of them pretty funny. And this is what they quote Biden as saying, according to the lip reader, so take it for what it's worth. She's not as strong as me. I know that's true, Obama agreed, saying we have time. Yeah, we'll get it in time, said Biden. And then moments earlier, Obama said, it's important we have some time together. So it's unclear what that meant. So anyway, to me, to the degree that lip reader can be believed, it's further indication that Obama is in deep when it comes to the coup against Biden. And they thought they could wire the election, in my view, improperly. Because I think there are significant civil rights issues and legal issues with erasing the votes effectively of um, upwards of 15 million people to remove Biden from the head of the campaign. So we're just going to keep on keeping on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.